Hi guys, Sandy from the Paddle School here. In this video today, we're gonna to do a racket review and comparison between the Wilson Pro Staff and the Wilson Blade. Now these are two top end rackets for Wilson, so it's gonna be interesting to review them and discuss the differences. I've been playing with them the last couple of days to get a feeling for both of them. So in this video, I'm gonna give you my opinion on these two rackets. Now, if you haven't subscribed already, please click subscribe. It shows me that you're enjoying this content and you want to see more of this content in the future. So to begin with, we'll talk about the Wilson Pro Staff. This is a nice weight racket. It's around 366, 367 grams. Um, and when you hold it, it does feel a little bit kind of head heavy, but actually when you do the balance properly, you feel like it's just slightly more head heavy than the other, but it's not in the extreme. Um, it's obviously a combination of that kind of braided graphite and also high density foam that kind of gives it a little probably gives it a bit more of a feeling of weightedness in the end of the racket um, but just generally swinging around before hitting any balls it feels like quite a nice kind of racket so when you start hitting with this racket you kind of feel like it is very hard um, and you can tell that straight away from your hand and also from the first few balls that you hit um, it's a hard racket designed for power um, and you do even when you're playing you feel that the the weight of the racket is kind of distributed more in the head um, which lends itself to an attacking style of play aggressive smashes um, and someone that maybe comes from a tennis background and they like a heavier racket and they, they play a bit more uh, of an aggressive pattern um, probably also for slightly more experienced players, I would say kind of intermediate and advanced, I always recommend a softer, lighter racket for people just starting. Um, but this is definitely one at the other end of the spectrum where um, you know, you're slightly kind of more confident with your game or, or your attacking style of game at least anyway. Um, weight wise, it's not too heavy. So if you do like a hard racket and you are starting, then it would be good because you know, like we saw earlier, it's around 366, 37 grams. So for me personally, it's probably a little bit on the hard side, but that also doesn't mean that it's not right for you or your game. So looking at the blade now, um, the blade is a diamond shaped racket. So the sweet spot is slightly further up, slightly larger. Um, we've got to mention the pro staff is a round shape with the sweet spot um, in the center there. Um, and this feels like a nice balance. It does feel light when you, when you weigh them, it's 10 grams lighter than the pro staff. So this is around 357 uh, grams, which is quite light for a racket, but it's perfect for someone starting out um, or a, you know someone relatively new to paddle. Um, and the weight distribution feels quite even across the racket you don't feel like it's head heavy at all and um, it actually feels quite nice in your hand light but nice in your hand uh, to begin with so when you start hitting, immediately feel a little bit more control with this. Um, from the back of the court, it's slightly softer. It's still that high density foam. So it's still, I would say quite hard, but softer than the Pro Staff. So from the back, you get a nice control on that ball, easier to hit down to the feet of the volleyer or to control where you want to hit it. The same with the volleys, you get more kind of control into those corners or to hit soft volley, for example. But you do get less power. Um, obviously it's softer, it's more evenly balanced and it's lighter. So therefore it's gonna be uh, less powerful than the Pro Staff, um, but it's a kind of way up really. If you're starting out and you're learning the game, this would be a great racket for you because you can easily swing it. It's not gonna put too much pressure on your elbow or your shoulder. And also you get good control from it. Um, I would say, it's about right when it comes to the kind of hardness softness ratio for someone learning the game. Um, so this would be my recommendation for these rackets. This would be a good one for uh, beginners or intermediates and um, people starting out. It's, it's light. It's slightly softer i'd still say hard but slightly softer than the pro stuff um, but you get a good feeling with this racket and this racket is is kind of harder more head heavy um, and a, probably a smaller sweet spot so that's probably something that more advanced players would look for if they want a little bit more power on it um, but it is a hard racket so that's something you need to be aware of when you're buying so let me know your thoughts. If you use either of these rackets, how do you find them? Also, if there's a racket that you would like me to review, please don't forget to subscribe and I'll put over on this side, my review for the Adidas rackets if you haven't seen that already and I'll see you on the next video.